Welcome back to Doing Outdoors, I'm Benj and we're up the land today. It's a fresh February morning and we've come to glaze the greenhouse. The growing season's pretty much started. If you can uh, get heat in your greenhouse, you can start propagating seeds. So I've got a bit of a rush on trying to get the glass in. So the aim of today will be fully glaze the greenhouse and potentially get some IBCs set up at the back. So we've got some sort of rainwater harvesting system. We're gonna need as much water as we can get up here for growing the plants and uh, obviously watering all the animals. I've managed to get the help of Alfie this morning. Reluctantly, he's come to give me a hand. I told him how important it is that we get the greenhouse up and running before the season progresses any further. So he's here to give us a hand. So let's get to it. So the first thing I need to do today is make sure that the greenhouse is running the way I want it to. On the greenhouse we've got a guttering system that's fixed to the frame. So because I'm going to have the IBC water tanks at the back, we need to have the frame of the greenhouse tilting backward just ever so slightly so the water can run in the right direction. So I've just got to go and run and find some stones to jam under the front end, tip it back. Uh, like I said in the previous video, I need to get some angle iron to drive into the corners and I'll fix the base to that. But at the minute, I don't have any. So we've got the greenhouse as level as we need it with a slight runoff towards the back. So now we can start putting all the glass in. It's not gonna move from the position it's in now. I'm happy where it is. There's a little bit of a gap around the front, but I'm not too concerned about that because we're gonna use this no dig method. We'll be uh, chucking a load of compost in there anyway, about four or five inches. So once that's all in, there won't be a gap at the bottom and any extra head height is always welcome. It gives the plants more space to grow. Right, we're almost there. Nearly all the glass is in. There's a few pieces, mainly the uh, triangular pieces from the top corners, still to be put in. In fact, the pieces that I had are now broke, so I'm gonna have to cut myself some more. Luckily, we've got quite a few spare pieces of glass that came with this greenhouse. But the roof's on in its entirety. Missing. The two triangle pieces at the top and at this side are missing. And also we need to find some pieces to fit here. So I'm gonna go into my toolbox now, find my uh, glass cutter and see if I can cut some pieces without shattering them. That's the plan anyway. So these are the pieces of glass that I'm missing from the corners of the greenhouse. This is one that's still complete from when we moved it over here. So what I'm going to do, I've got another piece of glass, just the right size. I'll line the two pieces of glass up or I'll line this triangular piece up and use it as a template. And all I've got to do is one straight line. And if it, if it snaps on the mark, I'll have two pieces. And that's the glass scorer. It's got a tungsten wheel in it.
And there we have it. Successful, I think. It's a little bit wavy. But now we've got two more corner pieces to fit into the greenhouse. Made out of square piece. Jobs are good in. We'll put these in. Try and get it finished off. Well, this is the piece we just cut. Let's see if it fits. Hits all the seals all the way around. Good job. And now it's starting to rain a little bit more and all the glass is on the roof. You can see that the guttering is working as it should. It's draining off to the back edge, which is where we're gonna stack the IBCs. I'll get something coupled up to this guttering, which will take this runoff water into the IBC. So let's just have a quick look at the other end of the gutter, make sure it's not deceiving me and that there is only water coming off the back edge and yeah, you can see there, no water coming off the front edge. And quite a lot coming out the back. Brilliant stuff. So that's it, the final piece has been put in, but it's starting to rain quite a bit. The wind's picking up and we're losing light. So that's as much as I've got time for on this video. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. There's going to be loads more coming up. And I'll see you on the next one.